Not only do I not know how to drive it, I don't remember how to drive it. So we got a call for a truck that is broke down and stuck clear up on the Nevada-Utah border, like north of Hamlin Valley. So we're going to head up here and see if we can get it. It's a three-hour drive, but with good company, it's not that bad. We'll have to find some of that good company. Right now it's like 55 degrees and it's raining on us a little bit, but they just look like spring storms. I think it'll blow over and it should be a nice day when we get there. Here's to hoping. So we think this one's going to be a trail repair. We've thought that before and it's turned into recovery, but we think we can weld this one back together and we have the wrecker with us. So this time we'll be able to weld it right. I sent Jake up to get the wrecker yesterday. So the wrecker has been away for quite some time now from the shop. We got a call from Chad Fab saying that he is ready for us to come down and pick up the wrecker. So I looted up blue steel with the gooseneck and I'm gonna head up north and go pick up the wrecker. He rolled in really early this morning. We haven't even unloaded it to check it and test it. So we're gonna take it on a job and learn all the controls because I don't know them. Yeah, there's all kinds of buttons on the dash that we haven't used yet, so this will be a learning experience. We just turned off of the highway onto the Hamlin Valley Road. It's a dirt road, it's a little bit washboardy. Kind of depends on the condition of the road on how far I'm willing to drive blue steel in the gooseneck trailer up here. We might be jumping in the wrecker and doing a 60 mile round trip. The wrecker mobs through this kind of terrain, so that'll be a good ride. I think the vehicle's stuck over there on the other side of that mountain range. We're not too far from it. Let's see what we got on the GPS. Um, it's not showing me miles anymore. It's showing that we are totally off the map and it's not taking this. So we gotta get back on track before it'll give me a number. All right, we got about 15 miles left to go. The road's starting to get a little primitive. <laughs> so we're gonna unload right here. Okay, let's get the wrecker off. Okay, I don't know how to drive this. I don't even know what this is. This doesn't look like our wrecker. No, we got a couple things going on here. One, um, I don't know the controls anymore. And two, we haven't tested this at all. Since it's come back from Chad's, we have started it and we made sure the welder works. We gotta show you some of the stuff. There's some cool stuff in here now. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Sounds good. Yeah, still got that exhaust leak when we broke the header. Oh yeah. Wow, look at all those lights light up. Okay, let's see. Is it, it's the same, right? Front axle, back axle. And this is, this is, oh. Rear steering. It's just as awesome as I remember it. <laughs> okay, so let's put a uh, front axle. I don't remember how we drove this. Did we drive it around? I think you left this in low most of the time, didn't you? Yeah. So there's the front. Is it? Or did you leave these in low and then you switch this one? So that's the rear. So the okay, okay. You so low, low. Five minutes later. So that's neutral. That's low. And this should be high. All right. So not only do I not know how to drive it, I don't remember how to drive it. All right. So we're off on our first recovery since the wrecker's back. It's good to be back. Oh my goodness. I forgot how awesome this is. We got about eight miles before we turn left. It's got a speedometer. Can you believe we're doing 40 miles an hour? It doesn't even feel like it. This thing is crazy smooth on these trails, but the, the wheels are so wide they don't even drop into the ruts. It just smooths it all out. So 
something is hissing pretty bad. We're leaking air somewhere. I just lost our air. I guess let's go see if we can find it before. Can isolate it somehow. Right there, we're melting through it. We had our compressor at 120 PSI and that nylon line did not like the heat coming off that header. We're gonna have to do something about heat control. We're gonna have to wrap Wrap yeah. our headers. We have wrap for these headers. One more thing on the list that's not put on yet. Hmm. How's it doing back there? I think we got a little bit of an oil leak. Coming from a pie, I wonder if it's coming from a oil pressure sender or something. Well, other than that, everything's fine. So we'll see what else happens. Hopefully it goes well. This trail's got some crazy switchbacks that are really fun with the rear steer. Matt's having a good time over here. We need fenders. Well, we're up on the top of this mountain though. Oh man. Okay, we should be seeing the customer's vehicle any second now. The GPS is saying we're there, but we can see pretty good from here and it doesn't look like there is a truck around. We did some map searching here. So the GPS's that they sent us, none of them are where the vehicle is. He sent you a picture. And yeah. we, we can kind of find similar shaped features off if we take this road to our left. So it looks like he's a couple miles down that way. We'll see if that pans out. I'm feeling pretty confident. Yeah, yeah, let's go track it down. Is wow. That, how big is that? Look at it, like three feet deep. Okay. Cross it right here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You think that's what broke his axle? <laughs> or his, something like his it. His suspension? Okay, oh. yeah, here it is. Show me something good. All right, we're looking pretty good on this side. Not so much on that side. So that broke off up there. That's this one. Ooh. And this one either unthreaded or broke off. Strip out. Might have just stripped out. And he lost the drive shaft. Yeah. That it just came apart. That we can just poke back together. All right. Let's pick the front end of this up and see what we can do. What have we got to pick it up with? It's nothing. Got, it's got nothing on the front. <laughs> Okay, we don't have to pick it up. So I'm gonna pull the axle out and then let it loose and spline the drive shaft back in. And then we can use a snatch block off the back axle to pull the axle back into place, weld it, and then carefully drive out of here. That's our plan. Love it or hate it, that's what we're doing. Okay, come over here, get this kind of lined up, right? Yeah. Ooh. You got it. This should spin, so it is a little tore up though. Okay, it's going. All right. So now we need to snatch block the whole thing back. We're gonna use this toe point snatch block here to change the direction of the pole. There it is right there. Ugh. Is it raining? It is. Gentle little sprinkles? Yes. All right, we need to make sure that that stays up there when the time comes. And I've got to hook up to something right around this axle right here. Be all right. So what we're doing, we've got to get this front axle pulled back. So and rather than 
park the wrecker behind there and pull backwards, I'm pulling off the truck, which will be better anyway, because now the truck's pulling against itself, so it's less, less likely to shift and move. So, I'm going to get this up here. I'm going to put a little pressure on it. There it goes. Can you believe that? Drive shaft slipping back together? Is that the lower thing going to line up, or is that... We're going to try it. There. I probably should have got on it a little sooner. Yeah, we got to go out. Not very far, just a little. He's got three things at once here he's trying to line up. The upper link, the lower link, and the drive shaft. Okay. You got him. I hope that's pretty stripped out. And this one's walking in too. We need to make sure that that's... A, oh, that's kind of touching there, isn't it? That one's going to be the tricky weld right there. But yeah, I can't even see where that one's trying to go yet. It's touching right now. We oh, might yeah. have to cut out some of that fender. We'll be able to get in there. Okay. Well, that was almost there. I'm going to have to do this again. That's been loose for a long time. This didn't break out like it was, it wore out. Let's weld this together. So how are you gonna do this? Cause the welder's over there. You got the winch holding it together. Oh, we didn't think ahead, did we? Well, we are now. So we're thinking a little bit ahead. All right, Matt's got an evil plan to get the, the welder closer to where it needs to weld. He's going to pull the vehicle in with the winch so we don't lose all the progress we made hooking this up. Are you playing with the line locks? He's got these new brake line locks he's messing with. They're pretty cool. We just got to figure them out. So they're super awesome because they're electric, but they don't have to have electricity to stay on. You just need electricity to turn them on and then they'll stay, stay on. Anyway, they are awesome. Okay, Matt, when you do this, I want you to tell us if you like this better than the battery setup. <laughs> I already know the answer. How much better? Well, I've welded with this before and it was smooth and buttery. So this is the Premier Power Welder. I used it at the Wrecker Games to build, I don't know, Merlin's Trophy probably. <laughs> No. I'm worried about these ropes. We don't, oh, give me that jacket. Let me just throw the jacket over the ropes. Then I can just burn for a second. That's hot, man. We are, I can see it just, just going way into it. We're gonna finish welding up this bottom one and then we'll weld the top. I'm gonna let Tom weld the top. All right. All right. That's good enough for this bottom link. Now it's time for the top. All right, it's clear up in there. Let's um, let's take this bolt out and fold the whole thing over. You gotta weld that rod onto that thing. Way back up in there? Yeah, you gotta come from the top. Okay. We're gonna pull this fender out because it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so that's where he's trying to weld, right there. I got a pretty decent weld on half of it. I don't know if I can get to the bottom at all. We got this inner fender put back in. We're just pulling down the ropes. And then we're gonna figure out who drives what out of here. We'll get you to that point. What are we doing? Who's driving the wrecker? Who's driving the truck? Winner drives the wrecker. Okay. I'm driving the All wrecker. All right, Tom's driving the wrecker. It started. Things are looking up. I bet you wish those wipers worked. It should be a nice day when we get there. Yeah. All right, we're gonna nurse this old truck out of here. See if we can keep it all together. Ooh, I should have had the camera on for that. We barely made it through. All right, we got about 13 miles of driving to get back to the truck, I think. And then we've got to decide if we're driving this all the way out or if we're loading it on the trailer. We'll make that decision when we get there. I know for you at home watching, it's a no-brainer, but for us out here, we gotta think about it. 
we're currently driving out of here at 10 miles an hour. I feel like that's a prudent speed. And even if we weren't kind of baby in this repair we just did, I'm not sure I could handle the rough ride. What do we have here? I don't know if you saw that deer there, but there's that deer. Well, I done it. How's it going? I don't think it turned soon enough. I don't know whether to straddle this. Yeah, or yeah. This, but I'm stuck now. Is your front end holding together? Yeah. Okay. So this is what happened. I crossed this little ditch at too shallow of an angle and... All right, so Tom's just gonna winch me back nice and easy. Look at that. Winch controls from inside the cab. New game back, plan? Back up. Okay. I'd like to get a better angle on this. All right. Okay, looks like I win. I did it in two wheel drive. All right, we made it back to the truck and trailer. I've drawn the conclusion that that truck is gonna be safe to drive. So we're gonna drive and drop it off at the repair shop. We're gonna get this loaded up and strapped down. We got that dropped off. It's dark, you can't see anything, but it's done. Yeah, we found them, we fixed them, and we got them out. Hey guys, it's Jake. We got a call for a side-by-side -side out here on the Arizona Strip. I got Colby behind the camera. What's the weather like, Colby? It's sunny, about 70 degrees. Uh, a cloud in sight, overall pretty nice. We're in blue still. <laughs> We're on dirt roads right now, it's a little bumpy. Uh, we got 40 miles to go to the pin, so we're gonna go try to find them and get them out. We found the razor over here. It's right behind this tree. We'll creep up over here so you can see it. All right, let's go get this razor. Let's uh, load it up. mat straps we're back on paved roads it's so smooth uh, we're gonna go drop the vehicle off at the customer's house blue steel is usually not stocked with uh, mat shirts like this but we got him a, a record game shirt awesome limited edition awesome, so, awesome. <laughs> hey thank you very much hey, thank you man yeah, you have a good one thanks for watching okay see how the trees makes that dip right there like this line of trees does <clears> that <throat> I'm looking for like where it does that on the dirt road like would that be the same dip? 